Hey guys, I just wanted to come on here and show you an updated um, look at my entryway. I have, I'm not quite done with it. Like I don't have like a ton of like official spring decor, but I've made some pretty big changes, um, you know, and whatnot. Obviously the first thing being I painted my door chartreuse yesterday. Um, I think the official color is Valspar Gilded something or another. I will put it in the description. But anyway, it's kind of hard to capture it uh, on video and on camera in general. It's, I don't know, it's um, it's a true chartreuse green is all I could say, but it's coming across a little more olive looking or maybe even like pea colored right now, but it does have like a little more yellow in it in person, but it's like the perfect color. It's not too bright, too dark. Um, I wanted to incorporate more greens into our space. Over here, um, I just kind of have like a ginger jar, blue and white collection going on here. I want to put some flowers in there, like probably pink, like a, like a fuchsia or a soft pink. Uh, but some shade of pink I will put over there. And I don't know, it still feels a little bit incomplete to me, but for now, this is what I have and just the regular stuff down there. Um, I got this plant from a lady too. Uh, it is a faux plant, but I'm thinking about replacing the actual plant with a snake plant, uh, just to kind of have it be a little more modern, but I love the pot that it came in. Beautiful, really, really pretty. So yeah, that's it, and it is a huge plant. I got a crazy deal on that, and like a lot of other uh, blue and white decor recently. So yeah, that's kind of what I'm doing now, just, uh, painting painting all my doors and all that stuff and like I said I'll probably do more flowers over here later on and in here there have been a lot of changes too it's kind of messy so please excuse it I need to vacuum my kids cut up a bunch of paper the other day and it's all over the rug but um and the rug is really wrinkled too so just excuse that they've been in here just doing whatever but and all the cords <laughs> but anywho so yeah there are some changes in here I'll probably do like an official tour later on but I have I moved the rugs from the dining room into this room and then I moved, I got a brand new rug for the dining room, but I'm not gonna show that to y'all now, so. This is not an official tour of like all downstairs. I mainly just kinda wanted to show y'all my new green door and just kinda what I got going on over here for spring, which is not a lot, but it's simple, classic, and classy. And yeah. yeah. Show y'all real quick, I also painted my, uh, door coming in the kitchen this is like our garage door so that's why there's only one door painted <laughs> uh, just because that's the main entrance and exit or whatever out of the kitchen and i think this color is uh, i'm gonna put it below but i want to say it's like angel's kiss but i'll have that down in the description it's a really pretty um pastel pink it's it is pastel it's coming across a little more bubble gum on camera it's like a bubblegum pastel. It's not the most like white undertone, but it is a very light pink, but with like a little bit of a hint of like a bubblegum to it, if that makes any sense. So I like it a lot, but I just wanted um, a little bit of pop of color in here and we need to paint our walls really badly. So just ignore that. My kids have been just, especially my toddler, she just rubs her hands all over the place and it's not good, <laughs> but um, like I said, I wanted to pop a color. I love pinks. I love blues. I love greens. Um, our kitchen has like a more retro 50s vibe anyway, so it, it fits into our space perfectly. Um, if you have like more of a, I don't know, like, I'm not sure, but it works for us. It doesn't work for everyone, but it works for us, and I love it, and everyone else likes it so far. So, yay! I'm happy with my pink door, and yeah. Thanks for watching. Bye.